What's going on, E Nation fans? This is Impress Forty Eight here. Welcome back to another diecast review. And today it's going to be another IndyCar diecast I got from eBay. And I got this for like nine ninety nine. Originally it was ten ninety nine, but I was received an offer, ten percent off, and I couldn't pass out on it. And uh, yeah, here we are now. And this is going to be on Max Chilton's twenty sixteen Gallagher Chevy Delara from. Chip Ganassi Racing, and I gotta say, I personally never thought I would get a 2016 IndyCar diecast for like less than, for like $10 or less for free shipping. How about that? I love eBay. So I want to get this over with quick before like, before I get ready for work. Uh, I called to see if I could work today, and uh, yeah, so I gotta make this quick. So here we got uh, Max Chilton. We got 8 plus 164. Contains one diecast car, one train card. The 2016-2018 Verizon IndyCar Series logo. Verizon IndyCar Series, the 2015 Indy 500. Number eight, Max Chilton. Uh, Gallagher Chip Ganassi Racing. Limited edition. Diecast metal chassis. Uh, green light collectibles. On the back, you got the uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway product logo. Licensed product IndyCar logo. Delaware Firestone GM. Got the IndyCar hologram. You got the QR card, you got the barcode. And also, you got once again, diecast metal chassis, limited edition of green light collectibles. The Verizon IndyCar Series logo. And then here you got the information about Max Chilton. If you want to read that, feel free to pause. So, yeah. And you got Galger Chip Ganassi Racing, Verizon IndyCar Series. So, yeah. Uh, let's get this car out of its box. Looking forward to it. Right. I'm just going to open the packaging up. Right. Also, just to let you guys know, uh, episode 25 of Racing Stories will be uh, uploaded 5.30 tonight. Uh, 5.30 Eastern Time, just to let y'all know, and it does have a special guest, and it's not uh, the boys at Indy Fanatics or a NASCAR Day 2488, it's another um, motorsports content creator, so yeah, hopefully you guys are excited for tonight, it's one of my personal favorite projects I've done this year, for Raking Stories, so yeah. I'm looking forward to showing it to you guys. All right, here we go. And the packaging is damaged, so I gotta fix that whenever I can. All right. Oh God, it's actually worse than I, oh, it's worse than I thought. Look at, hang on, let me go out of focus. Look what they did. I don't know what happened. But, yeah, look at the car itself. Ah, oh, new car smell. Alright, hang on, let me get ready. Alright, so here we go. We got the car out of its box. This is Max Chilton's 2016 Gallagher uh, Chevy Delara from Chip Ganassi Racing. And I gotta say... Even though Max was mediocre at Chip Ganassi uh, when he was in the 8 car, he he ran this library and it was actually like a good library to be honest. So yeah, with that being said, oh by the way, this is like my first Chevy uh, Aero Kit uh, die cast. So there we go. With that being said, hopefully you guys can see, here we go. Oh, but die cast is messed up. I'll get to that in a moment. So here we got Gallagher, AJG.com, Firestone. Um, hang on. You got the Armin Strom logo. And you got the uh, the gas hole. Uh, where you can put, like, gas in here. I don't know what to call it. I'm so stupid. You got the Sunoco logo. You got the Chevy logo. You got the G logo. And I got the G logo again, and you got the, uh, the the paint chip lost of Verizon IndyCar series. You got the what is it called? The LED score, the LED panels. I actually like that feature when 
IndyCar feature that I had. It was actually awesome. I don't know why they got rid of it. And then on the headrest, you got... Uh, oh my god. What did green light do? Look at this mess. But anyway, we got like the Galger, I believe. Uh, oh my god. What the hell happened to the headrest? Anyway, let's move on. So we got the G logo, Gallagher, AJG.com, number eight. Uh, Chevy logo, Verizon IndyCar Series, Gallagher, AJG.com, Gallagher, AJG.com. On, the, on the, the front wing, got the G logo. Uh, same side as the left. And, oh, I'm surprised there's no, like, number eight, like, on the, on the pods. Because normally, like, in real life, you got, like, the numbers back here. I don't know what happened. And, um... And then... It, wasn't he a rookie in 2016? I think he was, like, a rookie in 2016. I I could be wrong. Because I know he, like... He did, like, Formula One. Like... Like... Before he did any car. That's all I remember. So, yeah. What I love about the rear wing... Is, like... I mean, it, this is on the oval kit, but what I like is that this is like the TV camera on the rear wing. It has the, like, the iconic, you know, iconic view that's like this or something like that. A classic view for IndyCar. Uh, sorry for making it, sorry for the autofocus. And on the wing, you got, uh, come on. I don't, it's, okay. Oh my, is that, the, wait, oh, I thought that was like a ship or like another oh my god it won't focus i know this is the g logo but oh my god it's like is it me or is it like all scratched up or something man so many defects on the in this car not like lionel bad but like green light standards this is man this is a mess up and so is this die guess review and i apologize for that so we got the gallagher ajg.com logo so, um, yeah, that was a pretty bad diecast review. Um, but to be honest, besides the defects, it's actually like a good livery. Very good, beautiful livery. But too bad, like, uh, Chilton was mediocre and top-notch equipment in Indy car. I hate to see it. And I don't think Chilton is going to be in Indy car this year. So far, he hasn't found a ride. Either he's done with Indy car or... Gallagher can't find a ride for him or something like that. I don't know. Let's see how it turns out for Max Schoen. I don't know if he's doing Indy card this year, but he may. Max Schoen might have been a mediocre driver, but hey, these Gallagher libraries are awesome. I'll be honest about that. Um. So yeah, not a lot, of, not not much else to say besides good library. Uh, the die cast quality is just yikes, man. Green light standards is just yikes as hell. If you want, if you want me to be honest. So yeah. And so, what do you guys think of this car or this library? You guys like it? Do you guys not like it? Um. So yeah, I only got this car because like I was offered like ten percent off. And honestly, it's an indie card, I guess. I, and it's 2016. I, it's still an indie card, I guess. So I still got it out of the way. And I don't regret it, but man, it's just a green light. Still good library. Good diecast. No regrets. And um, I just want to say, you know, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Uh, don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more content and diecast reviews and diecast related videos if you guys are into that um don't forget to watch episode 25 new episode of racing stories tonight 5 30 i'll be working at that time so i'll share it on community post later and i just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting you nation this is impressive 48 signing off goodbye everybody